So if you guys are taking the vector v, which in our example today, our vector v is 8, 4. And our magnitude of our vector v, which we found to be 4 square root of 5. Correct? Now, is dividing the same thing as multiplying by a fraction? Is dividing, the same, is dividing by 2 the same thing as multiplying by 1 half? Yes. So I could rewrite this as 1 over 4 square root of 5 times 8 comma 4. Do you guys agree with me those are the exact same thing? Yes. Now, usually people, that's a little bit easier to understand because it kind of reminds them of what we did over here, hence why I gave you guys that problem at the beginning of class, that 1 fifth times that complex number. You're just mul it's a scalar. You're just multiplying your value by a scalar. So you're just multiplying both of your components by 1 divided by 4 square root of 5. So actually, let me write it like this. So this is 1 over 4 square root of 5, 8 comma 4. So when I distribute this, I get 8 over 4 square root of 5 comma 4 over 4 square root of 5, which now I can simplify to 2 over the square root of 5 comma 1 over the square root of 5. I will say, in far as vector operations, it is not something that we consider them to be simplified when you have the square root in the denominator. Nope, you don't need to rationalize the denominator. You can just leave it just like that. Okay. Now, that's the unit vector. The unit vector has to have a magnitude of 1. It's not that hard of mathematics, so I'm just going to show you. Well, let's find the magnitude, then, of u. Let's confirm. No. No, that's what I said. You don't need to simplify it. Let's confirm this magnitude of this. You don't, you're never going to need to do this. I'm just showing you this. This unit vector that we just created has a magnitude of 1. 2 squared is? Square root of 5 squared is? Square root of 5 over 5 is? Square root of 1. Square root of 1 is? 1. OK? So. This is our lovely new unit vector. Okay, Now, again, to even give you one more even kind of way to think about this, 